somewhere between the lemon water and eucalyptus leaves, I started noticing these red masks in every single skincare, wellness, fitness, girlies routine. And I brushed it off because it looks stupid until I noticed Kim Kardashian using one and Andrew Huberman getting one as a sponsor. Red light and near infrared light can actually be used to enhance the function of the cells. Someone who has endless money and someone who talks about science for a living. I'm gonna call myself a positive cynic. I've been burned way too many times in the fitness industry by snakes, oil salesmen. And, and yeah, I just no longer trust. So I'm just like, I assume something's too good to be true. But like, I'm also optimistic because we live in the future. Like the technology these days is kind of crazy. But how on earth could shining a light on our face do anything? <laughs> These lights promise to improve our skin tone, reduce acne, and diminish fine lines and wrinkles. So this month, I'm gonna test one of the most popular and effective red light therapy masks on the market to see if it's worth your time and money. Or are we all just walking around like Christmas tree versions of Jason? Here's day number one, where my skin's at. Can we have a moment of silence? Because we're finally experiencing the crossover episode that is Kardashians, and Andrew Huberman. I'm gonna be using the Omnilux face mask. Why? This is the one Kim Kardashian uses and pretty much every dermatologist I see recommended. Through my research, this is what I believe you should look for in a red light therapy mask. Number one, make sure it is a near infrared. Two, how many modes? Does it just have red or can it also have blue? Three, the area it covers. Does it just cover the face? Or are there other parts of your body you also want it to cover? For example, your neck and hands. Four, strength versus price. Typically, the more LED lights, the more powerful it is, and the more expensive. I'd recommend getting the most powerful one you can get within your budget. It recommends three to five sessions, 10 minutes, for a minimum of four weeks to see results. So I'm gonna be doing this for the recommended six weeks, five sessions, 10 minutes a week to see if this can reverse my age and not just make me feel like I'm living in a sci-fi movie. You know it to be true. If this works, you're telling me I gotta sit there for 10 minutes doing nothing? and it makes me hotter? Suspicious. Okay, it's day number two of this bad boy and uh, nothing's changed, but it was nice. I was wondering if I'd be able to see with it. Doesn't hurt your eyes. There's actually some signs where red light can be good for your eyes, but don't don't quote me on that. Maybe I'm gonna look into that for you. <laughs> Fun fact, red light helps protect and heal your eyes because my eyesight is getting worse and worse by the year because I stare like this all day at a computer screen this close. Then at the end of the day, I'm like, where are my eyes hating? Do I look like a war dude? What's the uh, Freddy? Freddy Mercury? No, Freddy Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wears a hockey mask. Yeah. Is that Freddy? Isn't that Freddie Mercury? Well, Freddie Mercury's the lead singer queen. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. <laughs> Last night was my first time using the red light at night and I was a little worried because when I first turned on, it was super bright. And then I was like, wait, is this <laughs> disrupting my sleep? Because the number one beauty tip is sleep. And if this is affecting my sleep in any way, no, but I did some research and turns out red light mimics firelight, candlelight, which is good. I mean, it's fine to have at night. I'm like, it's like the opposite on the wavelength to blue lights who are golden. And I wear one of these guys or a ring. Sleep was not affected in any way. Okay, I was just doing some computer work and I just had this realization. If you're anything like me, multitasking is a way of life. Oh, every time it's a little shocking. Mm-hmm. You can indeed drink through the mask. Is it safe? I don't know. Is, it, is there a contradiction between the blue light and the red light? After one week, I didn't see drastic results, but my skin was very even toned, I'd say. Now I'm off to Stockholm to film my ballet video I posted a few weeks ago. And instead of packing my red light mask, I thought this would be the perfect time to try a professional grade mask to see if one session at a professional grade was as equal as one week with just a regular at home mask. So I'm in Stockholm and I'm doing, I found a place called Heat that does the red light therapy. So I'm doing 30 minutes of this intensive one. got back from Stockholm, hence this disaster. And how's my skin doing? I haven't noticed a difference between doing the week 
versus doing the professional grade. It's hard to say, but I did get two pimples, uh, but it's my time of the month and I traveled. And that always happens because I touch my face. But I guess I will say, if you wear this mask, it's not like you're never gonna get pimples. You can like consistently use the at-home mask every day or like once a week or once every few weeks, go and get professional grade. I bet you, but we still got about two weeks left in this challenge. We'll see if these wrinkles can be cured better than Botox. So I'm gonna answer some questions off Instagram for you guys. What mask did I buy? The Omnilux Contour Face. Reason I bought this one, there's cheaper ones, but they didn't seem to be too effective and there's way more expensive ones. But I was like, what is the one that I thought I could see the most results from was spending the least? What does it do for you? The idea is really that it helps promote collagen. So this can help with acne, anti-aging things, so wrinkles, skin texture. Now, what are good brands? The ones I saw, Omnilux seems to be the most universally one. The Therabodies, and then Juve. Juve seems to be the one. If you see some crazy biohacking guy, he's probably using the Juve. Does the light mess with your sleep? No. What is the minimum times per day and week? According to the instructions, it's 10 minutes a day, three to five times a week. So I'm doing it five times a week. Does it help with inflammation? According to Nazan MD, a board certified dermatologist in Philadelphia, the biggest benefit of red light is its reduction of inflammation. It's because it triggers the formation of blood vessels and increases production of collagen. Does it treat acne or wrinkles? Both. I'm using it for wrinkles and I don't really have acne, but I get the occasional pimple. How it works with acne is it penetrates through the skin and targets where the formation of acne actually occurs. So pretty much the older you get, plus exposure to more UV, your skin sags, which causes wrinkles, and it sags because of a loss of collagen. So the red light helps stimulate the production of collagen. Does it make your face sweaty? No. You kind of don't notice it. It's like a little warm, but I dare even say that. Do you need sunscreen? No. Here's how I describe it. You know, like the light bulb you have in your house, you don't have to wear sunscreen for that because it doesn't have UV rays, similar to this. Difference between dermatologists versus at home. It's just the strength, which is the cheapest option. The one I saw online said the Essence was the cheapest recommended by all the websites over a cosmopolitan women's health. When you're buying these at home advices, really look for it say near infrared and as many lights as you can get within your budget. And lastly, is it bad for your eyes? All my research showed. Once again, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just reading things on the internet. Um, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. For my understanding, like the recommendations on the box is this isn't damaging for your eyes in any ways. If you're a dermatologist, please comment down below. Maybe it's in my head, but I was like, today I was like, are these, are these a little smaller? Now, what's the difference between all the different lights, such as red, blue, and UV? Blue light treats acne and other skin imperfections. Blue light's wavelengths treat acne by killing the bacteria responsible for its development. Blue light therapy versus blue light from our screens. Blue light from our screens equals affects sleep because it mimics sunlight and throws off our circadian rhythm. But that's also why it's beneficial during daylight hours, like getting morning sunlight can be beneficial, but it seems to be most disruptive at night. My main takeaway, while the science is still out, use it for acne, avoid it after 5 p.m. like caffeine. Red light versus near infrared light. It's different because near infrared penetrates deeper into the body, making it more effective. UV is a different wavelength from blue light. All science points to UV light being the most damaging thing for our skin. But you don't have to worry about the blue light from these LED masks mimicking the UV rays from our sun. They are different. I'm halfway through this red light therapy. I've got some major pimple action. I don't know if it's anything to do with it. I think it has to do with my period. Far, I just don't, like my skin seemed even toned, but the wrinkles, actually, wait, wait, wait a second. I had this one smoker wrinkle that was coming. I just saw a sign, I haven't noticed it. It could still be there, here, live reaction. Okay. Oh, okay, this could be complete placebo, but I had like two, three of these little lines for him. Oh, okay, I might just take back what I just said, but oh, I don't know. It's kind of toxic to be staring my face like this. I feel like being so hyper fixated on the wrinkles, but you know, science. Speaking of science, experts believe that red LED lights act on cells in the skin known as fibroblasts, which play a role in production of collagen, a protein that makes up a large part of connective tissues and helps the skin to recover when harmed. So in theory, red light could help reverse some of the signs related to photo aging in the skin. I won't lie, at first I was like, how possibly could light affect it? That sounds so bogus. It sounds like such wishy-washy sounds. Like there's no way just staring at a light can do anything. But then I remembered something. What are we all doing now? It's morning sunlight. How much has it impacted our lives? Also, sunburn. Yes, just being out in the sun can literally burn our skin. 
So it makes sense that light can affect our skin. You know what I mean? That was such an aha moment. I was like, oh, certain UV lights come into our skin, cause damage. So it would kind of make sense that the same source, but like a different wavelength could do the reverse. Now there has been some research studies about it. One published in the National Library of Medicine. It found that those treated with red light therapy, their skin complexion, skin feeling, collagen intensity scores, skin roughness, and wrinkle status improved significantly. Just took the train down to Stockholm. I have to stay overnight for my flight. If someone were to walk into this room right now and see me. <laughs> I have a little tinted moisturizer on. Maybe it's in my head, but my skin feels really good. Okay, I have this one pimple, so that, excluding that. Okay, it's day 27 in the red light and I had two little aha moments this week. I was walking home from the studio and I randomly ran into my best friend, Ash. And it's like 6 p.m. at night and we're like, oh my God, hi, it is so good to see you. And she's like, oh my God, love the fresh makeup. I'm like, fresh makeup? This wasn't on since like 6 a.m. She's like, what? And now my makeup was nothing crazy. Like I barely had makeup on. And she was like, what are you doing? The only new thing with my skin has been the red light. Could have just been I slayed at my makeup that day. Interesting. And second, I went to Mayo Detox. Erguardo is who I see there. He's awesome. And he comes in. And he's like, oh my God, I saw you. And what have you been doing? And I'm like, what you mean? He's like, you were sitting there and the sun was shining off you. And like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just got back. I'm jet lagged. Like, I shouldn't look good right now. And he's like, you're glowing. So obviously the sun was a natural highlighter, but I've just had a couple random moments like that of people being like, you're glowing. Now I'm not pregnant. <laughs> the only thing I've really done different is this red light. So here are my results after 30 days. I will note I had two pimples that I picked. I'm getting so much better. I will say if you watched my 30 day glass skin, my 75 hard skin picking is an issue for me and I've gotten a lot better. And I found using the red light therapy mask at night a signal not to pop like it's just something else i have to do and i obviously can't pop my pimples when the mask is on so that has been beneficial and i do think my skin is looking a bit more plump okay i have my results up right here on the screen and i'm gonna live react to my 30-day results now with you all i will say my face is less red definitely but I'm also wearing red in the before photo. So you know, like sometimes what you wear, like when I wear green, my eyes pop and I do have red undertones. So, hmm. You can see on this one, there's random lines. I've just woken up. The side, I don't really see much difference. Maybe, maybe a little. Cause I feel it is more prominent on my left, but I'm zoomed in more on my right. So you would think you would see it more. Hmm, hmm. Final thoughts. I think there was a little bit, a little, a little, so far in about five weeks. And I got three thoughts for you if it's worth it or not. Number one, does it seem to make a difference? Yes. I do think it did improve the redness in my face. It does seem just to give me a bit more of a plump. Like it's not one of those things that it's like, wow, the results are so unbelievable. This is better than any kind of Botox, any kind of facial that you have to do this, that it's like worth everyone to save up for. It's not that drastic. On the flip side, if you have so much disposable income that you're just gonna throw every single thing at it, you might as well throw this into your routine as well. Most of us, it doesn't. So I, I can't see your return on investment being that drastic. That being said, I have only done it about six weeks. So I am going to maintain this for the next year. And then I will update you guys as well to see after a year, how much results I can get from it. This feels like something you got to put in the work, the time, the money, the effort, and maybe, maybe we see more results. So hit subscribe. If you want to see this, I'm going to update you guys in a year. I had this aha moment. And sometimes I hate saying this. I know most of you just came to see the results of red light therapy. I needed to hear this talk. So I'm passing it on to you guys. Last night, this video popped up on my YouTube by Stephanie Laneige and it's your borderline ugly and oh my god I didn't realize how badly I needed this it was so refreshing now the title at first I was like oh ballsy thing to say <laughs> I'd recommend go watch this after the video but a little synopsis a little teaser is she showed these examples of so many of the most beautiful women on earth the Bella Hadids you know everyone you can think of just the most beautiful women but when you really look at them they're not like perfect 
but that's what makes them beautiful. It's the uniqueness and that we're all doing plastic surgery to look the same. And then because we're the same, it's boring and we're all becoming clones, yada, yada, yada. She showed all these examples of these women who I look up to as the most beautiful women and they were so unique. And like tec technically their nose is too big or their eyes are far apart or their lips are too small or whatever thing we're self-conscious about. It just made me appreciate my face. Like I was like, oh, if, I, if I'm constantly trying to change everything, I'm, I'm just gonna look like everyone else. I'm not gonna look like me. And I, I hate being that person. Like, Beauty doesn't matter. I'd rather be known for what I do. And it's true. But at the same time, I, I like to show up and look pretty and I struggle with this. And it was just really refreshing to hear that like what makes the most beautiful women on earth beautiful isn't this beauty standard we're all trying to chase right now. It made me excited that like, I hope we're going in this way because I feel the last 10 years specifically as plastic surgery and cosmetic changes have become more accessible to the average person. We're all just chasing this look of filters. And I hope we just don't lose ourselves along the way. And I'm not against change yourself. Like I'm, I've opened, I've gotten Botox and you guys have seen what I've done on this channel. I'm not against it. It just, it made me stop and be like, appreciate your face. So I'd, I'd recommend going watching that after. With red light therapy, this is an interesting one because is it just cosmetic? Because there's also a lot of studies about the health benefits of red light therapy on repairing collagen. And that's the tough line is like your skin is an organ. You wanna treat it your best. But at what point are we treating it for the health of it and just the cosmetics of it? But it is funny that typically the healthier the skin, the better it looks, but that's not always the case. And I, I think I really wanna to work towards that this year, like getting healthy skin Moral of the story, if you're asking yourself, Kelty, should I get a red light therapy? If you got a ton of money and you were willing to throw everything that could possibly work, even if it's the smallest amount, just have longevity to get collagen boost, buy it. But if you're sitting here, like I was, and you're watching all these girlies on TikTok and Instagram use these masks and you feel bad, you're like, I'm not doing everything I possibly could and should I buy it? If you just said I should be paying for this, this, and this, don't buy it. I was like, don't buy it. There's other more important things to spend your money on. But if you're like, you got so much money, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw it around, sure. You don't have to have any FOMO about this device. It's awesome, it's great, but it's not the most mind blowing thing of all time. But after six weeks, I'm like, girl, pay off your loans, put a down payment on a house, you know, and the important things. Let me know down in the comments, your guys is, if you've used it longer than, you know, this two months, comment down below and I'd love to hear your results and comment down below any other devices you guys would like me to test over the year because I'm gonna do it for you. Don't tell my accountant. <laughs> Have a great day, go pet a dog, love you guys, bye.